Today we will be discussing about the Fiber Optic Communications Technology, Dense Wavelength Division Multiplexing, or DWDM. This video is brought to you by Sanat Dahl and Dylan Knox. DWDM is a multiplexing technique used to increase the bandwidth of single mode optical fiber, enabling simultaneous transport of several different signals on one fiber wire. Fiber optics are lines of thin glass or plastic that can send digital information by transmitting light signals. Optical fibers have the diameter of a human hair and are bundled up into optical cables. The fiber optic network is the next step in telecommunication network technology. Fiber optics are being used most notably in tele telecommunications, but their use spreads to the medical, cable, defense, and engineering industries. Optical fiber is a superior to the traditionally used copper wiring is essentially every category. Benefits include lower cost. The same length of optical fiber is made for a much lower cost than copper wiring. Second benefit is lower power. No power is needed to propel the signal in an optical fiber once it has been sent. That in addition to a lower degree of signal degradation means that less power is needed to send the signals. Third benefit is size and weight. Optical fibers are thinner and lighter than copper wiring. This means more optical fibers can go in the same diameter of cable as it was filled with copper wiring. Fourth benefit is better capacity. Today's optical fiber can send one terabit, sec one terabit per second of information. In theory, the potential maximum optical fibers can send 350 terabits per second. In comparison, advanced copper DSL systems can send only 50 megabits per second of information. The theoretical maximum for copper cables is one gigabit per second of information. Another benefit is better signal. Optical fibers have lower signal degradation than copper wiring. Here's a picture comparing copper wiring to fiber optics. The optical fiber cable in the foreground has the equivalent capacity of the copper cable in the background. The, yet there are some difficulties as well. The first difficulty is network installation. Making the actual optical fiber is cheaper than copper wiring, but installing fiber optics into a network is another story. It's time consuming, labor intensive, and requires a license. It costs telecom companies about $1,000 per subscriber to install the fiber to the home. This is mainly why fiber optics has seen most of its use in network backbones and not as much popularity in the final distance to buildings and homes. Another difficulty is fiber flexibility. There was a concern with fiber optics because its glass or plastic composition made it difficult for it to be installed in buildings or areas that require sharp turns. However, this problem was solved somewhat when a bendable fiber was devel developed in 2007. Here's an example of the conventional fiber optics time division multiplexing versus the newer generation fiber optics TWDM. TDM is just a single wavelength fiber with multiple channels per fiber, while TWDM, on the other hand, has multiple wavelengths per fiber with multiple channels per fiber. Notice how both transmissions have the same speed of 10 gigabytes per second but DWDM only requires one fiber pair with four optical amplifiers, while TDM requires four fiber pairs with 32 regenerators. Okay, so dense wavelength division multiplexing was developed to make better use of the optical signals within the 1550 nanometer band by leveraging the capabilities and cost effectiveness of EDFA or erbium doped fiber amplifiers. These were developed to replace Sonnet SDH, also known as Synchronous Optical Networking, Synchronous Digital Hierarchy. Alright, now I'm going to talk a little bit about the process of DWDM itself. In general, it starts off at the terminal multiplexer where multiple optical signals are combined onto a, signal, a single optical fiber. This signal is repeated along the way after traveling long distances, and it ends at the terminal demultiplexer where signals are separated individually and output on single fibers. <coughs> All right, so at the beginning of the terminal multiplexer, there's one wavelength converting transponder for each signal of wavelength it is going to carry. It receives an input optical signal from the client layer, converts that sig signal to an electrical signal, and retransmits this using a 1550 nanometer band laser. 
After traveling far distances, the optical signal weakens due to photons interacting with each other and the light becoming absorbed by the glass particles in the fiber. Due to the loss in light, the signal must be boosted. An intermediate line repeater is used every 80 to 100 kilometers. These repeaters amplify light using erbium-doped fiber amplifiers. In this process, the core of the fiber wire is multiplexed, in this case referred to as doped, with the trivalent erbium-doped ions at lower laser bands, or 980 or 1480 nanometer bands to boost the 1550 nanometer signal region. With signals that have to travel even greater distances, the integrity of the signal may become compromised. In this case, an intermediate optical terminal, sometimes called optical add-drop multiplexers, amplify multi-wavelength signals traveling over 100, 140 kilometers before reaching the remote site. More sophisticated systems are able to take a sing single signal out of the multiple wavelength signal, remove and drop it locally, and add a different signal. At the end of this process, DWDM terminal D multiplexers break the multi-wavelength signal into individual signals on separate fibers for the client layer to pick up. However, the, however if the signal needs to be sent to a remote client, the demultiplex signals are sent to OEO transponders, which are optical to electrical to optical, before being relayed to ensure the integrity of the data. One other component of the dense wavelength division multiplexing system is the optical supervisory channel. This channel carries information about the optical signal, remote conditions at the optical terminals or EDFA repeater sites, and can also be used for remote software upgrades or for accessing network management information. I hope you learned a lot today about fiber optics and DWDM. So thanks for watching and have a great day.